Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the NTLDR is missing error you might be receiving on your Windows computer. So this will apply for those running Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10 devices. So this should be pretty straightforward and we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is start by opening up the star menu and you want to type in computer. One of the best matches underneath programs to come up should say computer. You want to left click on that one time. Now that you have the screen here, you want to minimize it. So now it'll appear down our taskbar. So we're going to go back to that in a minute. And now we're going to open up the star menu again and type in services. One of the best matches under programs should say services here. You want to left click on that. And now there's going to be two services we're going to temporarily turn off to hopefully resolve this issue. And I'm just going to expand the window here by dragging the little corner, which will make it a little easier to see where we're going. First one will be the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. So you want to double click on it here. Underneath Startup Type, you want to make sure it's set to Automatic, Delayed Start, or Automatic. Which either one is fine. And if Service Status says Started, you want to left click on the Stop button. And you want to click on OK. Once you've done that one, you want to go down to get to the Windows Update Service down near the bottom. Double click on it. Make sure startup type again is set to either automatic or automatic delayed start. And you want to click on the stop button right here. This will temporarily disable the Windows Update service until we restart our computer, which we will do at the end. Once you've done that, you want to click on OK. And now you can close out of the services window. We want to go back to that window we had open earlier. So if you accidentally closed out of it, you can just go back in the start menu and type in computer. Once you have a screen that looks like this, you want to go underneath the hard disk wherever Windows is installed on. Most people should be the local disk and there should be a little Windows icon appearing right above the hard drive. As you can see right here, it's pretty clearly evident and it should be more than likely in your case as well. So we're going to just double click to open that up. And then we're going to do the same action for the Windows folder. So double click on that. We're going to go down until we get to software distribution. So double click. And now anything listed in here, you just want to left click and drag over all these items and now just right click and delete. If you have a shortcut on your keyboard you can just delete them that way as well. This is just going to basically clear the Windows Update cache and once this is done I would recommend you guys restart your computer and attempt to run some updates and hopefully resolve the issue that you were experiencing. Now after you've restarted your computer if that still does not resolve the issue and going back and running more Windows updates, going to the start menu and typing an update, Windows Update and then checking for updates if that does not work for you, I recommend opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one, but I will have a link in the description of the video to a Microsoft support page. It's just going to take a second to load. And we want to download the troubleshooter for whatever version of Windows you're running. I'm on a Windows 7 machine at this present time, so I'm going to select the download troubleshooter for Windows 7 and Windows 8. Again, if you guys are running Windows 10, your download is going to be a little bit different, but just want to give you guys an idea of what to expect. So now we get a new dialog window saying troubleshooting help prevent computer problems. Windows update, find and fix problems with Windows update. I'm going to select next here. And now it'll likely detect that I've already turned off the service for the background intelligent transfer service and the Windows update service. The reason why, obviously I haven't restarted my computer yet, but if you restart your computer it shouldn't be able to detect anything. So I just want to put that out there, or it should be able to detect something if there's still an issue, but it is going to pick up on a couple of things because I turned off those services for the time being. But if you did restart your computer, which I would recommend you do, you wouldn't get anything here in relation to what I did in the beginning of the tutorial. So service registration just basically turned it on even though if you restart the computer and it was set to automatic, it would automatically turn back on. So I recommend just seeing what it says here and following along of any recommended actions. And that's pretty much it. So the first method should probably work for most of you guys and then the second thing through the Microsoft web page should hopefully be able to resolve the remaining issues. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. 
and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.